Well, first of all, let me say that I like to call him Valentino. Uh, he liked that name, and he used to laugh when I said that. And most people called him Val, and uh, Val Eddie. And, uh, but he was Valentino to me. Dad started playing before he was 12 years old, and he played actually from 1938 until a month before he died in 2014. He played um, full time, and he never had any other job. He would sing, he would play, you know, a wonderful banjo. He had a banjo, and then he plus he'd tell jokes and he'd sing novelty songs and everything. He was just always smiling, always happy you know, making music. Well, working with him was always a joy because he loved what he was doing, so he always brought a good attitude. He was always happy. He, when he laughed, I mean, it was, it was joy. When he told a joke, it was joy. And uh, not only, I think, the, the musicians, or myself in particular, but that would carry over to the other, the people the crowd. He was fantastic. He was a great bass player. He had great time, which meant he maintained the same tempo throughout a song. He didn't rush. He remembered people's favorite songs even more than their name. As soon as you walked into a club, he would start playing your song. He worked at his craft. He loved doing that. Uh, was, I just saw a movie yesterday. It's find something that you love to do and and pursue it and do it. And I think that's what he did. Oh, he was extremely professional, extremely talented. I mean, he was one of these people that didn't have a have to have a piece of sheet music in front of him. You name the tune, you name the key. He was just that gifted that he had such such a huge repertoire of jazz tones and what we call standards. And so all you'd have to do is, is uh, you know, call out the tune and call out the key, and uh, he would do that. He was kind to everybody, and I've worked with a lot of people in Chicago and all over, you know, and some come on like, well, you know, I'm the leader, you know, you do what I say. But he wasn't that way. He treated everybody fairly. Well, Val Eddie deserves this award for several reasons. First of all, he was a great, great bass player, but he was a great entertainer. He really understood how to work a crowd. He was like a consummate, old-time entertainer. He was an old show business trooper, you know. They had that, that was part of that perseverance that the show must go on. Also, he made a living as a full-time musician. It's really difficult to make it in music as a full-time career. And he really never took any lessons. He was self-taught. So not only was he a vocalist, but he could play just about any string instrument that you put in his hands. Banjo was how he said he made his bread and butter. He's been called the second best tenor banjo player um, in actually the world. You know, anybody, in my opinion, that uh, deserves any kind of recognition is because they can do the job. And Val certainly was able to do the job. I'm just very proud of him because um, he followed his dream uh, despite being discouraged from going into music. The longevity with which he kept this up is evidence enough of his success.